Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose x is a real number such that x is non-zero. Then the reciprocal of the reciprocal of x is equal to x. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description of the video below. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to be using the following axioms. Axiom 1 is just the commutative law. Axiom 7 tells us for all non-zero real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, that satisfies the property that x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. Now at this point, we have proven that if x is a real number and x is not equal to 0, then the reciprocal of x is not equal to 0 as well. Another property we've proven is the cancellation law of multiplication, which says the following. For all real numbers a, b, and c, with a not equal to 0, if a times b is equal to a times c, then b is equal to c. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start out the proof, since we're given that x is a real number such that x is not equal to 0, let's first note we know that the reciprocal of x is not equal to 0. And now, applying axiom 7, we first know since x is not equal to 0, we have x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. But since the reciprocal of x is not equal to 0, we can also apply axiom 7 to the reciprocal of x. And we have that the reciprocal of x times the reciprocal of the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. And by axiom 1, we know that x times the reciprocal of x is equal to the reciprocal of x times x. And now, putting these three guys together, we have that this guy is equal to 1, which is equal to this guy, which is equal to this guy. So that tells us that these two guys are equal. And from here, we can apply the cancellation law of multiplication, right? Since the reciprocal of x is not equal to 0, we can apply the cancellation law of multiplication here and cancel out the reciprocal of x's. And so we're left with the reciprocal of the reciprocal of x is equal to x. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.